Thanks for watching Lessons in Minutes with J. Lee. Like, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Hey guys, we're going to look at accounting for overheads, which basically spring from elements of cost. At the end of a lesson, you should be able to explain the accounting term overhead. And we're going to begin by looking at what is overhead. Now, overhead refers to the ongoing business expenses not directly attributed to creating a product or service. Basically, all costs in an organization other than direct materials and direct labor. Now, overhead is basically important for budgeting purposes, but also for determining how much a company must charge for its products or services. So you need to know the overhead. What are some examples of overheads? We have rent, utilities, administrative costs, insurance, and there are others. Now, let us talk some more about overheads. Overheads can be manufacturing or non-manufacturing. The manufacturing overheads basically are the costs that are indirectly associated with the finished product. So you cannot trace to the item that you have produced. So that is manufacturing overhead. Now we talk about non-manufacturing overhead. We're talking about things like your administrative overheads and your selling overheads. So when we talk about administrative ex um, overheads, your admin expenses, we're looking at things like your accountant's salary, your human resources salary, your receptionist salary, your depreciation for accounting machinery, and there are others. So basically your administrative overheads are those general costs that are related to running the business. In terms of your selling overheads, what are we talking about? Those costs that are attributed to selling the product or service. And these are, for example, ad advertisement, carriage outwards, salesman salary, and there are others. Now, when we look at overheads in a business, they would have to look at cost allocation. What do we mean by cost allocation? Basically, the process of identifying, aggregating, and assigning costs to cost objects. So you produce this item, you're running this service. You have to go through that process to ensure that you assign the cost to the object so that you are able to charge enough so that the business is able to generate a profit, right? So when we talk about cost objects, what are we looking at? Simply, a cost object, object is any activity or item for which you want to separately measure costs. And these are examples of a product, a research project, a customer, a sales region, and a department. Let us look at the example of making benches. So your manufacturing benches, right? No, in manufacturing the benches, we're not looking at those direct costs, the direct material and the direct labor that are linked to the benches because we would know that coming from the prime costs, right? But there are some other costs that the business incurred and these costs must be spread to the benches that you have produced. The reason for this is that you want to ensure that when you sell these benches, then the business make a profit after taking out those expenses. So therefore you have to allocate those costs to the benches. So that is referred to as cost allocation. So the process of identifying those costs relating to the benches that you produce is basically cost allocation. 
the benches that are produced now are referred to as the cost objects. Okay, so basically that is it for this lesson. So I'll see you in our next lesson where we look at the actual allocation of costs, but what we'll be focusing on is allocating costs using predetermined overhead rates. Like, share, and don't forget to subscribe.